Well, hello there. Hey guys. So two things. Sorry about the noise if you can hear our 3D printing farm in the background. <laughs> We're printing out the leaky cups. We've got four yes. printers going right now because we can get a bit of a stock. So apologies if you can hear that. Second apologies, my microphone did not work. No. Nope. For some reason during the whole of the next episode. So you can hear me, but you can only hear me because his microphone is picking me up. So apologies on behalf of the poor sound during the course of this episode, but you still get to see two really wonderful paws. You do. You're doing something really different. I am. I am. You're going to use items to manipulate the paint on the canvas and kind of distort it in a way, right? <laughs> blah, 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 toil and trouble. So, um, and you're going to use, a, are you using a split cup or not? No, I'm not okay. going to use a split cup. I am going to use not one, but two split cups. Yes. I'm going to kiss two split cups together to create this really wonderful composition, but it doesn't necessarily go exactly to plan. So come and see what that's all about. <laughs> um, if you are here and you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Yes. It will mean the world to the show pony if you it do. It does. And to me too. And um, yeah, let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. Apologies again for the bad sound. We'll get that fixed. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am excited I about today's pour. Why? Yes, and um, I'm really excited because we have some gorgeous colors picked out. I have a really interesting way that I'm going to be painting today, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this. What's going to happen? Yeah, I'm really intrigued. I, I will ask you more about this when you get to it. Yes. But show me the colors that you absolutely. Picked. So we have Arteza Pearl Turquoise. Look at that tub. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. But look at the tub. It's I know. one of their new kind of bigger formats of paint. I love these things. This is 16.9 fluid ounces. Yeah, and the most you could normally get was eight. So yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, Arteza. Thank you, Arteza. Our link and all the information for our Arteza, Arteza affiliate is actually within our description box. Yes, yes it is. Now this is Sky Blue Light by Amsterdam. Do you love that color? Now this one's the first time we're using this. This is Pearl Violet by Amsterdam. Jumping on the pearl train. Yeah, yeah. people are using this in all sorts of different ways. We're just gonna use it like we normally would, like a pearl white. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. You'll see what happens. Mm. Um, and then this one is Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Love this Permanent Blue Violet, stunning. Yes, we have Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. I used to be like, we used to use that all the time. I know. But I haven't used it for a while. We have, um, this is light gold by Amsterdam. Instead of the 20, 24 karat, you wanted some. I didn't want sense. cells. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and then this one's emerald green Love by it. Amsterdam. Yeah. And then I have my white as my base coat. You do. So and we've actually got eight colors on the table with an extra white here as well for you. Yes. Tell me what you're doing, because I'm still not 100% sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have two bottle bottoms. From? Uh, from uh, Mixed Media Girl. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yes, as you can see, we've already used this one. If I was to want to try and get my hands on these, do you know where I would go? Where? Mixedmediagirl.com. There you go. Thank you, Marcy, for sending these through. Thank you, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my bottle bottoms this far apart. And I'm gonna do a ring pour in the center of these. Got it. So that way the paint's gonna come around the bottle bottoms. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so I've seen Sarah Mac do this with dustpans and like polystyrene balls, and I've even seen Nate Bright Art, yeah. who is actually gonna be at the Fluid Art Experience. Sure is. And he's done something similar. Like they've, they've called it, or it has had a term to it, like a push pour, or I can't remember what it's called, but this is interesting. Yes. I don't know for sure that they've done ring pours with it though. Well, I'm really excited about it. Now, I'm worried that these are just going to go flying across the canvas when the paint just touches them because they're only very light because it's 3D printed. Do you yes. want me to hold on to these for you? Um, yeah, ab absolutely. You if you sure? want to hold on to them. I don't think they'll slide. Okay, then, then let's yeah. just do it the way you had it in your mind. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get to layering my cup. Okay. In this cup. we got some delicious colors yes. on the table, and that is actually the pearl violet. It is the pearl violet. Violet, you turn your back on Interesting. Yeah, the wind's blowing or something. You know, I, don't, I think there's some staticness in some of these acrylics sometimes. Right. Yeah, it's a little strange. 
but that's the Prussian blue. Now you said this was a ring pour. Yes. Okay. So the colours that go in last, sorry, first will be the colours that come, come out last. last. And there's that delicious soft gold that you yeah. wanted to use rather than the 24 karat. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yes, that's all I'm going to put, because that's going to be the centre of my ring. Rings. If you get that far. If I get that far. <laughs> all right, so here next I'm going to go with a little bit of the skylight blue. Okay. So I got my cup, my bottle bottoms here. I got my layered cup right here. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do it. Okay guys, so this is really amazing me. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving what's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottle, bottle. bottle bottoms. Okay, I'm gonna stand by with some yes. towel. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's take this one off first. And then let's go ahead and take this one off. All right, I'm letting it like ease back in a little bit. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the flow extender around. Okay. I really like this. Well, Rather interestingly, because of the items that were, the bottle bottoms were on there that you took off, it kind of has made a, is that ellipses or something? You know, like a- A seashell, open seashell, like- Well, yeah, it looks like an eye. So instead of, yeah. instead of creating a circle, it has actually created this really wonderful kind of like oval shape. And I, I missed this part on purpose because I want that part to kind of fold in on each other a little bit okay. to pull that more in. It won't fold but it'll certainly join. That's what I'm wanting. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, you know what time it is. I do not. It is it. tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. I'm excited about this one. Do you believe straight from a party?
Okay guys, this is me done. Huh, I was not expecting that. I wasn't either, I didn't know what to expect, honestly, but... but... But it wasn't this. I, yeah. I really love how it's kind of, I mean, it still is a ring core, but it's so elongated and stretched out. It reminds me of wood grain. Absolutely, like, yeah, it's like looking at a knot in yeah. a piece of wood. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I think it's super cool. I think there's definitely something to play around with there. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think so too. Like a lot. Yeah, thanks. All right, guys, I'm going to take you guys in for a close up and get my edges. Do it, big boy. All right. Um, I agonized over this one. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do, even as I stood here at the table looking at my canvas, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wanted to do something just different, um, but I still want to produce something beautiful for you all. Yes. Of course I do. I don't know if anyone's done this, so I'm going to give this a go. This is going to be kissing cups, but I'm going to do kissing split cups. Cute. Yeah, um, I, you just did a really beautiful ring pour that was like elongated by those two wonderful bottom bottoms of which you can get them from mixedmediagirl.com. Well, these are mixedmediagirl.com's split cups and I've got the two three chamber ones here. So I'm gonna play around with the colors in these chambers and, and kind of see what I can do. Um, one of the cups I'm gonna go dark to light and the other one I'm gonna go light to dark so mm. that when I then kiss them onto the canvas, you'll get the light in the dark, is my plan. Let's okay. see if it works out. All yeah. right, so my three darker colors are the Prussian blue, the, bl the blue violet and the green, and then my lighter colors are the pearls and the golds. So that's kind of how I'm gonna run around this one. So, why am I gonna do multiple layers? Oh my goodness. Well, this is like, I'm, all, I'm getting all confused now. Anyway, let's start off with the darker colors in the very bottom of this split cup. And because I'm gonna kiss them, I'm not worrying so much about dark color next to dark color. This might be a complete and utter fail, people, because maybe I haven't thought about this one enough. But then let's go in with some of the wonderful pearls. And I'm gonna sandwich these pearls in between some more of the darker colors. And then I'm gonna put the white and gold actually on the green. So a small layer of white and then small layer of gold. That gold you don't have to worry so much about. I don't, but I also don't want a huge layer of gold either, you know? Yeah. So then I am gonna mix it up. So I'm gonna put the green on this side Put some of the violet in the middle, violet, turning violet, violet, and then the blue. Jeremy, I might have to mix up some more colors of this, right? All right, so then let's flip this on its head and let's put the pearls in the bottom of this one and the light colors. So let's put light blue, let's put pearl turquoise. I'm gonna put the pearl violet in this. Ooh, one. yes. Okay, and then let's then sandwich some of the darker colors on the top. And then finish it off with the lighter colors. So in one of these chambers I want white and gold. And 
I'm going to put a little bit of white blue and then some more of the violet. All right, there we go. Nice. So needless to say, I was experimenting and playing around here, but my plan was to get lighter colours on one cup, darker colours on the other, sandwiching and then alternating. Because when these colours come out of the cup and kiss on the canvas, I kind of wanted them to be the light yeah. dark shade. So that's kind of where I was thinking, but who knows if that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna find out. So now I'm gonna kiss both of these canvases, these canvases, both of these split cups, right in the center of the canvas right here, and we'll see what happens. I am gonna straight pour, my intention is not to ring pour, but I'll maybe alternate the height, maybe kind of alternate where I'm going to pour as well. Sure. Are you ready, show pony? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, I really messed that up. It's okay. Oh, I really messed that up. I've never done a messier pour than what I just did. <laughs> it really distressed me. And then I took what was left in the cups and did a ring pour in the middle, and I hate it. So I'm gonna wreck this one. Okay. Because I need to integrate these colors now, yeah. because now I've got kind of just blocks of color in the middle. But it's a real shame, because I really enjoyed what was going on at the end. I, I need four hands when you're doing a kissing cup, and Show Pony was diligently filming with his other two hands, so couldn't help me out, and I messed it up. But anyway, let's integrate these colours all together. So that's what we're going to do next. That actually looks really good. Get rid of that dribble. <laughs> All right, let's get this flow extended on the canvas and see what is underneath. Show pony and everyone at home. Do you know what time it is? It is tilting time. It's time to tilt this bad boy out. Let's see what reveals itself. Yeah. Just going at it everywhere I turn my head. 
should have called you up. I should have called you up and said that I was wrong and that I won't make it without you by my side. I never called you up, but I don't love myself. Or is it true that I don't love myself enough to bother? So there you have it, folks. <laughs> I'm going to call this one from the jaws of despair. Um, because I felt like I recovered this one from the jaws of despair as I messed up those kissing split cups. It's very hard with kissing cups when you don't have an extra pair of hands around. And the show party was in the studio, but he was filming. Um, and so messed up the middle, then did two more ring pours. And now I really love how it came out. I do too. Yeah. I love this. I'm excited to see what happens as that pearl violet dries in both of our pieces. Yeah. Show pony. Because yeah. I really want to see what happens. Yeah. Um, but I do like this one. They, they have a very similar feel. Mine's a lot more chaotic, a lot more lines. But I really love how this came out. It's a 20 by 24 inch canvas. And I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Um, show pony. Yes. Talk to me about your distorted ring pour. I thought it was really cool. Um, there's something there definitely that I still want to play with. Right. Um, and uh, I really liked it. I thought the. I think that my layers and my cup need to be thicker because it came out a, a little too thin of lines. I thought. I love that about it. Really. Yeah. I really. Okay. I love when you can see like a, when you cut the inside of a tree, all those lines. All the rings? Yeah, all the rings. I really, really loved it. Okay. And it didn't come out how I was expecting it at all. I know, it didn't come out how I was expecting it came out like it super all. elongated. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was really wonderful. I, and I definitely agree. I think there's definitely something to play around with there for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well done though. Thank you. Um, I really loved my kissing split cups. It's very difficult to dismount. Yes. When you've got both hands on a cup. And because the cups were touching, I couldn't see what was left in them. So when I kind of tried to dip it to dismount it, it messed up. I then did two ring pours in the middle and didn't like the way that I had some solid lines and then all this wonderfulness on the outside. I, had, I have to say, I was a little concerned. I was freaking out on the inside. <laughs> but then when I wrecked it on the canvas, I really loved yeah. it. And when I tilted it, I enjoyed it a oh lot. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. They're both drying really well. They're just not enough dry to be able to hold them up. But what we promise you is, we will try and show you them on Sunday. Yes. And um, because they will be just that little extra days dry. We're a little late filming content today. So here we are on this Tuesday night premiere. Thank you for being here with us. I believe that Kathleen will probably have an episode right after us, but it's not yeah. a premiere. Um, those gals will be heading over to the Fluid Art Boutique soon enough. Yeah. That's next weekend, I think. So good luck to everyone out there. We genuinely want to wish you gals at the FAB all the best for a really wonderful Absolutely. seminar and a really Absolutely. wonderful event. 
you know, we've always said all the way throughout this that we just want to give you guys as much choice as possible. And I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of other boutiques and seminars and retreats popping up over the course of the years. We'll always pride ourselves on being the OG after, <laughs> after the pandemic. Um, and I love the fact that people are kind of copying our format. Um, but please, if you've got the know-how and you really want to do it, then set up a seminar because people will come if you invite them. So, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Sunday will be our next pouring day. If you haven't already, know that we're on Facebook now posting lots and yeah. lots of content. Yeah. And uh, there's a few of our videos there that might have a million views. Right. Which is super fun. Um, so come follow us there. You know we're on TikTok and Instagram and everywhere else. So um, have a great week. Have a great week, whatever you're doing. Please paint some. Post the pictures in the in the uh, acrylic pouring and fluid art group of which we are custodians, and we'll see them and comment on them there. Absolutely. And to all the massy posse, we love you. Thank you for being patrons. All right, that's it. Enough said. Enough Go, waffle. Enough waffle. Go enjoy your day. We'll see you back here on Sunday. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. So now it's time to spank the Patreons. It is time to spank the Patreons. And who are the Patreons? Well, they're a really special bunch of people. Yes. Who've decided to come and follow us outside of the YouTube channel. It's a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step. So we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel. It means an awful lot to it us. It does mean a lot to us. So we have some thank yous. And at that gold level, we have, we have Trisha West, we have Terry Leshner, we have Tammy Housebrook, we have Stephanie Hancock, We've got Sharon Luffy, the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepperson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes as most of you have. So thank you so very much for being with us. Yes. We really genuinely do appreciate you and your support. It allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Thank you very much. And to everyone else that's down here below, we honestly can't thank you enough. It really does mean the world to us. So thanks guys.